the real reason your ex-girlfriend comes back, gets in contact with you, texts you out of the blue, hits you up, sends you a friend request on social media, calls you from unknown or blocked or private, comes up to your job, it's happened to me many different times, gets in contact with a relative, usually someone close to you, your mom or dad, and says, hey, how is Darius doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Women got a lot of different crafty ways of trying to sneak back through a nook and cranny back into your life. Now, here's the thing. And what I noticed about when exes came back, whether we dated, had a fling, or just whatever relationship situation we had, they came back around the holidays. They came back around Christmas time, New Year's, Thanksgiving, the 4th of July, special occasions, your birthday, or they had a birthday coming up, and they said, man, I'm going to get in contact with Darius. I'm going to get in contact with you. Why they do this? And a lot of guys will say, well, uh, she got bored or the guy that she was sleeping with didn't want her. Yeah, that's the case. But the real reason why is because she tried to replace you with another guy. She misinterpreted and misjudged this guy's value in retrospect to yours. So now she's like, oh, man. Let me get back in contact with you. Let me text you out of the blue. And what I noticed, they would just resume the situation that you guys had, the relationship, like it wasn't nothing. Like she didn't leave you high and dry. It's so selfish and narcissistic. This is why I tell guys, if an ex-girlfriend tries to hit you up, text you, call you out of the blue, get in contact with you, what you need to do is ignore them. And I know it's tempting because you feel as though Man, this is like an unsolved mystery, right? I need some closure. I need to know why she left. She left you because she thought another guy could do better than you. I'll take it a step further. See, when someone has something good, when you treated her really good, when you treated her well, you took her here, you cared for her, you listened to all her problems, you uh, got her a job, you did all these different things for her. You put all this effort and time in. When someone leaves that situation and they're being treated well and they take you for granted and they try to go to another situation thinking they can do better or, or, or have that situation repeat itself. What happens is 99 times out of 100, it does not happen. See, the universe has a way of punishing those who treat others bad, who uh, make other people feel like, well, you're less than, you're uh, insignificant. So when you treated her well, right, the higher power said, you know, you're not going to be able to find another guy who's going to do that for you. It always happens. You can never just treat somebody good and then that person leaves and then they think they can reciprocate the same thing and, and get another person that's going to treat them the same way you did. So what happens is she says, well, I'm getting treated poorly. I'm getting pumped and dumped. I'm getting ran through. This guy that I left you for that I really like, he just wanted to use me. And women are horrible judgments of character. I'm talking about bad. So when she tries to come back, she act like nothing happened, right? Also, women want to be the focal point of your life, of your existence. So if she knew that she made you happy, she knew that she, that she made you laugh and smile and she made you feel good. She knows she can come back and resume what she started because she left you and you were scratching your head. You were confused. You're saying, well, um, uh, why did she do this? And here's the thing. These women know you cry yourself to sleep. They know you call and text them and you want answers. But for women, they don't care about giving you answers because they're so selfish. The vast majority of them are. Now, not all. But most of them are. So they don't give you the closure that you need. They don't tell you, hey, I'm leaving you for this guy because I think he's more cool. I think he has more potential. I think he's more attractive. I think he's more fun. They're not going to tell you that. What they're going to tell you is, hey, we're at different places in our lives. Hey, um, I just don't think we're on the same page. Hey, I, I have a lot of things going on. I think, you know, we should just be friends. And they try to keep you in the limbo. Or they just reject you. And then they know they can pick back up where they left off. Just think of it like this. Let's say you get flaked on on a Friday, right? You have a date with an attractive woman. She's supposed to come through. 
And then Friday at 7 p.m., she texts you, hey, I won't be able to make it. What's going to happen with you is you're going to be like, and if you haven't set up a backup plan, what are you going to do most likely? You're going to go to your phone and find the weakest link. And you're going to find the woman, most likely she's overweight or not that attractive. And you're going to try to get a woman in place of her so it can make you feel a little better. So you can hook up and have sex with at least something, right? You're gonna, you need something to hook up with that Friday night. You can't go, you know, uh, have nothing happen. And this is why women do this as well. They go back to their phones. They say, hmm, who is the guy that really cared about me? Who is the guy that really liked me? Who was the guy that was so thoughtful? And she texts you and she calls you because she knows that you still love her, that a small percentage of you still longs for her, still cares about her. Here's the thing. When she leaves you, she knows that. This is why women, when they leave, they act like, well, I'm so sorry. And, and I, they have no remorse, but they know that they left that imprint on you when she broke up with you. And she knows that, hmm, I can get back in contact with Darius. I can get back in contact with you because she knows most likely you're really weak and you'll accept her again, like nothing happened. The real reason women get back in contact with you, especially exes, is because they want to matter. See, us men, if I contact a woman again, let's be honest, and you know, you're probably on a dry spell, you're trying to hook up and have sex. You don't really care about uh, mattering to this uh, particular woman. You don't care about uh, how she feels per se. You care about, listen, I'm trying to have sex. I'm going to you know, a girl flaked on me a couple times and she didn't show up. So I'm trying to hook up, right? This is why we go back to women, exes or whatever, whatever chick we dealt with. Women, they do the exact opposite. They go back because they want emotional control. They want to put a straight jacket on your thoughts, on your mind, because every woman wants to matter to a man. And the guy she left you for did not care about her. He just got rid of her. Now she's like, man, let me look through my phone. Let me let me call. Boom. You pop right back in her head. Oh, Darius, I know he'd want me. And she calls you. She texts you. And she says, hey, how's it going? What you been up to? How's life? And you're like, you left me a couple years ago, three, four years ago, a few months ago. What do you, what do you mean? Yeah, because she wants Someone to say, hey, I still care about you. I still love you. Women need that validation, right? And their validation doesn't come through sex like ours uh, do uh, for the most part, right? Or we get our validation through uh, success and achieving things. Women get their validation by knowing that they matter to someone. And when she realizes that she doesn't matter to the new guy or the other guys, she'll get back in contact with you because she just wants uh, to be loved. Now, here's the thing. If you do accept her back like a fool, what's going to happen? And I noticed it happened to me a couple times. I accepted an ex back and try to make things happen to rekindle things. She left after I started to express my feelings towards her. After I told her, hey, I really care about you. I miss you. Let's just get things back going and let's get the ball rolling. When I started to express myself and and pick up where things left off and have a good time with her, she started to drift off and become distant because she knew, okay, now I have that reassurance. I have that validation that he does care about me still. So now let me go and get back out here in the streets and get back on the carousel and go find another guy that who, who I think is more valuable. See, when an ex comes back to you, you're her safe haven. You're the guy who's gonna always be there. The guy who's going to always love her unconditionally, who's going to look past all of her mess, all her flaws, no matter how many times she's left you, no matter what you've done for her. She knows I can come back to Darius. I can come back to you because she knows you're weak. Now, to let her know that you're strong, what you do when she does come back, you block her, you ghost her, you do not respond, you say nothing. Let her be another man's headache.
Thank you.